Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be featuring this product right here. And it's the Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Double Ended Eye Set by Touch and Soul. So Touch and Soul is a Korean beauty brand. And Sephora carries some of their products. And I did pick up a few others, but I was mainly interested in this eye set here. So what you get in one of these products is a liquid portion here and then the glitter portion which you would pat all over the liquid part. So for this video, I'm going to be doing eye swatches because while yes, they might swatch pretty like on your arm, I was really interested in how they looked on the eyes and I thought you guys might too. So for these eye swatches, I didn't really finish the eye look like I have right here. I just pretty much put the liquid part and kind of blended it out and showed that to you guys. And then I take the glitter portion and I pat that on my eyes and then I just kind of show that off. And also for these eye swatches, I'm gonna have a voiceover kind of just talking about each of the shades and how I feel about them. But overall, I really love how accentuated my eyes look. And you can, so you can tell, like, it's just BAM! Eyes. Alright, now that all that's said and done, let's get straight to the eye swatches. First up we have is Margaret, and I would describe it as a rosy transparent shade. So I say transparent because the pigment was just enough to show off the rosy shade but not look too overwhelming, therefore making this one of the easier shades to work with in this collection. You'll see that I will blend out the liquid portion first with my fingers, then pick up a neutral transition shade to further blend it out. So for this video, I'm using my Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. Now I'm taking the glitter portion and patting it all over my eyelid. So be really careful with the fallout, and I would actually highly recommend doing your eyes first before the rest of your makeup. I felt that the glitter really elevated this look, making this pair perfect for a soft glam look. Next shade is Eldora, which is a super pigmented deep gold. And because it is such an intense shade, I recommend using just a little bit and then blending it out thoroughly. So really take your time with this. Now I'm patting the glitter all over my eyelid. So just a small tip, pat a little of the glitter on your hand first, then go to your eyes to prevent as much fallout as possible. So I'm really loving this liquid and glitter combination and it makes a perfect holiday look. Next up is Talia, which is an intense silver shade. And as with the previous shade, I would recommend using a little pigment at a time and to take your time to blend it out. This was actually the most difficult shade to work with, mainly because the silver liquid eyeshadow and glitter transfer on my eyelashes were really obvious. So overall, I actually felt the liquid eyeshadow could hold on its own, mainly because it was such a beautiful metallic shade, so I think I'll omit the glitter next time. Next up we have is Adelio, which is a deep burgundy shade and one of my favorites. So this shade reminded me a lot of ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in Porter, but more of a metallic finish. And like the last two shades, I would use less of this product and take my time with the blending. Now I'm patting the glitter all over my eyelid. So I felt like the glitter brush was a hit or miss when it comes to picking up the actual product. So you'll see me go back in a few times in this video. 
So I really loved how this combination looked and I will definitely be using this shade a lot in the future. Next up is Lottie, which is a plum shade. And the consistency of this product was similar to the last few shades, but the pigment was turned down just a notch, so it's actually easier to work with and blend out. So the glitter here gave this whole look a hint of pink or light purple, giving this like liquid eyeshadow glitter combination a nice duochrome look. Therefore, I really loved how both of these products complemented each other, making this one of my favorite combinations. Last shade is Irene, which is a sheer iridescent purple shade. So this was one of the easier shades to work with and it blended out very nicely. However, I did have to go back into the product a few times while I was applying it just to get the pigment that I wanted. So I thought that this glitter gave this eye look a nice like silver reflect without making it look too intense. So overall, I really loved how this glitter product here did not take away from the iridescent look from the liquid eyeshadow and the combination that resulted is definitely a favorite of mine. That completes the ice wash portion of this video. I hope you guys found that pretty helpful. As for like the retail price and everything, this set here for six shades costs $40, but you can buy them individually for $25 and get more products. So please keep that in mind. I for one really like the selection of shades in this box. I felt that they were pretty unique from each other. So that is definitely a plus. And as with all like glitter products, there's definitely gonna be fallout like I mentioned my voice over. So don't let that deter you. I know a lot of reviews on Sephora, people are complaining about the glitter, but I mean, that's something that you would expect from this kind of product. So um, just keep that in mind. My whole lap here is just full of glitter right now, but you know, that comes with the territory. So that completes my video for today. Comment down below if you're interested in any of these shades or you're gonna pick them up or what your favorite one was. And then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for videos every week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.